travelingmail.com. Good morning, everybody. Today is my birthday, Yay. and for that, Melinda and the boys have organized a trip up to the Glenlivet Distillery where I'm gonna take a tour. And then there's gonna be a scotch tasting, which are both part of the Whiskey Trail, which is a real thing apparently, not just Melinda's name for it. It has a website and everything. And then we're gonna spend the night in Inverness, and tomorrow we're gonna to go see Urquhart Castle and see the lake, Inverness, Loch Inverness. Is Loch Ness. It? Loch Ness, sorry. Um, and what's exciting is, not only is it my birthday, which is exciting, but uh, we are going to be going up through the proper highlands and we're going to see another castle and we're on a road trip. So come along and see what's happening. We are officially in the Highlands. This is uh, Cairngorms National Park. Uh, it's rainy and cloudy, but it's amazingly beautiful as well. We have uh, found a little place to pull off and it's sprinkling a little bit, but we've got a fantastic view down this uh, valley. It's awesome. Uh, the clouds are rushing past as well, and there's a little creek or river going down the center of it. So we made another wrong turn, or missed a turn, right near Balmoral Castle, which I didn't even realize was over here. And it turns out our real, our real road is a single lane road with passing places along it, which I had heard about, uh, but we hadn't had to drive on quite yet. So this is our first time. It's, it's exciting. Woohoo! Yay! It's exciting. <laughs> passing place. Finally made it to the Glen Livet Distillery. Uh, Google had us take some some interesting road, roads, and we missed a couple turns. But we're here, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to film inside. Uh, but it smells like whiskey, and it smells good. So it's a big, big one. That's for sure. Well, they didn't let cameras in uh, the distillery, and the reason actually is not for trade secrets, but because there's so much alcohol vapor flowing around that they're worried about fire and explosions. Um, but it was an amazingly cool experience, and I was the only person on that tour, so I got to let ask, ask all the questions I wanted, which was fantastic. And I uh, got to have a couple samples of different uh, ages of whiskey and learned a ton. It was really cool. Um, and I'm so glad I got to do that. We're headed off to uh, Ben Romack next for a flight of whiskey, do a tasting. And then from there, we'll go to Inverness. It's a rainy day off and on, but the scenery in the highlands is amazing. 
If you ever get a chance to come up here, you have to take it. Uh, so we're gonna head out now and probably have a little bit of uh, my birthday shortbread on the way. All right, we have made it to the Glen Romack Distillery and the sun is out and it's warm and we had a beautiful drive over here uh, through the hills and fields and sheep. And now we're gonna go in and see what we can see, see what's going. Okay, well, we came out and it's raining again a little bit, but we met a really nice guy in there. He gave us the lowdown on four different samples. It was a lot peatier kind of whiskey than I prefer, but still it was fun and it was smooth uh, and pretty good. Um, and uh, so it was kind of a neat little conversation to just be the only ones in there and having this uh, the personal tour touch. So now we're off to Inverness to find our uh, place for the night and find some food and whatever other kind of trouble we can get into. All right, day two of the birthday weekend, which I get to go on. Uh, is Loch Ness. Last night we got to our Airbnb, popped a tire, had it fixed by our hire agency, Europe Car, without any problems. It was uh, remarkably stress-free. Uh, and then we went out for dinner, explored Inverness a little bit, and did not take the camera. This morning we got up, had a great breakfast, and now we're going to uh, Loch Ness to see the visitor center. We're gonna take a little cruise and then we're gonna go to I think it's Urquhart Castle That's how you say it, which is a castle out on the point. It's surprisingly Clear so far. We thought we we're gonna be drenched in rain So we're looking forward to that and we hope you enjoy this little tour That was actually a pretty interesting presentation. Had a lot of science involved, uh, using the uh, Nessie myth to teach a little bit of science about the geography or geology, and I guess geography of this, as well as the biology of the lake. It was pretty cool, pretty well done. Um, and now we're gonna see about tours. Maybe some tea. Very still. Yeah. Maybe that's their, her um, adaptation to predators. She freezes and hopes that we don't notice her. We decided to take a little detour up to see Divok Falls, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, after the visitor center in lieu of taking a cruise. And we found these, all these sheep out in this field and a bunch of baby lambs and this great view out over the lock. So it's definitely a thumbs up moment. We're gonna go down through uh, an oak forest and see a really cool falls, hopefully. And then we'll pop back up and onto the castle. Urquhart now, and it's pretty cool. I thought it was just gonna be a ruined castle, kind of a ruins, but they've got a trebuchet. They're doing a longbow demonstration. They had a cool film, uh, which the ending was awesome. And uh, the sun's come out, so where else can you ask for, really? 
So we're gonna go out and check things out, especially the trebuchet. Oh, I am Nissy. Look, I'm in the lock. Look, this Nissy. Going for you. Lasse. That's your finger. up our weekend trip. We stopped at Fort Augustus at the end of the lock for lunch and now we're gonna drive home via Fort William through the park in some highlands and um, thank you for checking in. Oh, Highland cattle, hold on. We actually haven't seen very many Highland cows up here which is a bit of a disappointment. Plenty of sheep done. Uh, thanks for checking in. Give us a thumbs up. Check back next time and we'll see you later.